What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to show you some new additions to the PTR that they've just added in the name of a new body kit for the S15, a new body kit for the Supra, a couple of free liveries and some changes to the game that they've made. get into those quickly. Here you can see the new Silhouette style S15 body kit. It's rather leery but it looks great. On to the Supra, same body kit that Jack Shanahan is using in the uh, Russian Drift series. This is really cool looking, really, really, uh, really, really like this. I must say, it's a uh, rather well impressive looking body kit. Love the addition. Um, and just quickly, we'll show the. Here you can see the new South American style DLC paint jobs for the three new cars the Wraith, the Spectre, and the Mustang. Quite a nice looking paint actually if you're like me and you're not very good at being creative with painting these are going to be quite nice to have. Raven ones, different colours of course, but still nice, looks good. I don't know if you're able to change the paintwork underneath in the vinyl editor, I didn't look at that but I'll, I'll let you know. Finally the Mustang with its, paint, its new livery. Another thing they've added into the game is the ability now to choose your track that you tune on, which is really nice. You can see once you select the dyno stand, it then asks you where you want to go to in terms of obviously track placement. So you can now tune at an individual track as opposed to just only being limited to parking garage. So again, select your uh, dyno stand, choose a track. I'm going to load Mondello because it's had some graphic improvements here. See when you load in now, it's not a whiteout as on previous PTR. You would load in it very, very bright in here. So nice looking skybox, it looks good. And again, as you can see, you return to Dino Stand and it drops you now on the track where you were, which is really cool. So you can make your changes, and then once you've done your changes, you go back, carry on your test drive, and uh, no, no need to load in and out, which is a really, really nice addition. It's really good that the devs have listened on that. Took me a minute to figure out what to do here, but yeah, once you've made your, your changes, your adjustments, you just go back to your test drive. Next thing you've got here is the, the ability to select a range of adhesions. Now, it's not quite what we want, but it's a good start. So you can see 90 to 100, 90 to 110, 90 to 120. What we really need, guys, what we really need, guys, is 90 only, 100 only, 110 only, and so on and so on. Um, and just a couple of replays now for uh, the big half footage of the new smoke you can see in the rear view. It doesn't give you a blackout anymore, which is nice. Um, and it looks nice, it looks really good if you can see back into the rear view there as well. I've done a bit of in car view just for you to see the rear view there. The smoke trail looks good. This is on 0 0.70 for my own car in settings. And we'll just quickly move to outside view just so you can see. What I particularly love about this new smoke is how the smoke rolls up over the side of the car. I think that's a really nice touch. So as you can see here, the smoke coming over the back of the uh, car. Really, really like that. The smoke looks fantastic here. Really. Can't come with the console like this. Yeah, it's That's going to be the end of it. Just a couple of uh, outside free camp views as well. There, I hope you guys enjoyed having a look at what's coming. I know it's taken a while, guys. You just got to be a bit more patient. But you can see the devs are definitely on it. They're trying their best to implement what we're asking for, and all credit to them. So, if it just takes a couple more weeks to bring it, then it, it's all good, guys. Just got to hang in there, and I'll keep bringing the updates. So, drop a sub, drop a like. Thanks, guys. If you're new, we'll catch you in the next one.